What's up, everybody? Welcome to Heavy Metal Hot Sauce. What's going on, guys? And today, we are back with some Rising Smoke Sauce Works. Yeah. Um, before we get too much into that, today's episode, music is brought to you by the Odious Construct. These dudes are awesome. Yeah. I highly recommend everybody go check them out. Um, if you like uh, like Black Dahlia Murder or stuff like that, like they're like just a little bit more like a techier version. Awesome melodies. Go check them out. Back to the sauce. We have done pretty much all of uh, Mike's sauces so far, just not the barbecue and um, the what was it? The Buenos No Chase. Yeah, yeah, that one. those two are the ones left. So today we are doing. This beauty, um, ooh, yeah, look at that. Um, this is not just your average barbecue. Um, it's got a ingredient that you probably wouldn't think. Yeah, it's not your average everyday barbecue. So, um, why don't, uh, Ray, why don't you tell us what's in here? Well, this here, tomato, apple cider vinegar, strawberry. That is the ingredient I was talking about. Strawberry. You don't hear that in barbecues. Yeah, it's and it's like up there right away. Uh, smoked habanero pepper, which habanero is awesome. Molasses, clover, honey, bourbon, uh, brown sugar, uh, smoked paprika, salt, tamarind, black pepper, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder. Uh, olive oil, uh, Worcestershire sauce, you know, which has all the stuff that is in Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> and then uh, it'll be in the ingredients, all right? We have it there. Uh, and the mustard uh, powder. So... Yeah. 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 Quite a lot of stuff going on there, and it all sounds really awesome. Yeah. Um, Especially that strawberry, the strawberry yeah. habanero fusion that we're going to have going on in this uh, barbecue. So I am... Oh, I'm so excited. Now, you th- you've gonna, had this. Um, yeah, yeah, I've had this. So, uh, I know it's good. So, just spoiler alert, it's good. Um, <laughs> I've been waiting. But so. uh, we haven't been able to properly review it. So, um, I'm excited for you, really. Yeah. That's uh, five horns on the seal there. Great perforation. Perforation. Love it. I love the size and the shape of this bottle, by the way. All right. Oh man, that smells so awesome. That is got. That is a very well blended aroma of things going on in there. That's like sweet. You got the sweet and the savory, and oh my goodness. Like, you don't pick up, like, straight-up strawberry, but you can tell there's a little bit of the sweetness in there. Yeah. Oh. It's a brightness of the strawberry. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Consistency? Um, it's a little thinner than your average barbecue that you would think of, like, a Sweet Baby Ray's or something like that, where that's just, like, thick. This is a little more... just slightly more runny. But it's still on the thicker side. It's got some specks, some flex. Not yeah. too much chunkage, but some flex, specks and flex. Yeah. Great pour because of the consistency of it. And of course, that wide mouth. Oh, yeah. oh, it's awesome. Yeah. All right, let's try this. Cheers. What? Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. Okay. Wow. It's still like, I'm still getting like, hit. Wow. Um, I don't want to like overreact, but like, this is kind of the best barbecue sauce I've ever had in my life. <laughs> um, 
it's now now Tom Mata, I don't want to like cross company names, but Tom Mata from Allegheny City Farms, he is another one that makes an amazing barbecue. But this right here is just it has that strawberry really like yeah is incredible in there yeah mm -hmm. holy crap and the black pepper I could pick that black pepper out and I am a I'm a big fan of black pepper yeah so that black pepper gives it a bite to where it really works well with that strawberry so what I really like is it has that kind of smokiness going on with it and everything um, and it has that strawberry in there to kind of give it that sweetness sort of brightness to it uh, and then uh, you also have that bourbon in there. You got that little bit of a hint of bourbon flavor in there. Not so much that it tastes like really boozy, but it just adds like a whole nice like just fusion to everything. You know, it's just like I don't know. It's it's look and yeah, the black pepper too. You know and yeah, obviously <laughs> it's it's so it's obviously a barbecue sauce, but it's just oh, yeah. so much more than that. It's ooh. you're gonna want to use it on more than you probably normally would use barbecue sauce on. Yeah. Heat-wise, it's definitely nothing crazy, but like, you know, it's a barbecue sauce. It's not a hot sauce. So if you wanted to make it insane, add some powder or something. Um, some just straight up like Reaper or Scorpion powder into it. Yeah. But this is perfect. Yeah. The heat is not a lot. I would probably give it like a two. Yeah. Um, a two. Pretty much everybody's going to be able to handle this. Yeah. And that's great because everyone is going to want to try this. Yeah, it's it's really nice. I yeah, I've had it like on different stuff. Just had it on burgers, uh, pulled pork sandwiches. Oh my god, pulled um, pork! I could not imagine how great that is. On yeah, I know. And uh, I imagine it'd be amazing on ribs, of course. Definitely, definitely. Um, but like so, you said, burger. Oh man, I could imagine. Oh yeah, just a burger. Dude, just on a big old burger. Just put it on there. Oh, it's good. It's really good. I mean, overall, obviously, if you didn't guess this already, uh, well, I don't know, but five horns, <laughs> easy. Like, this is one of the easier five horns I've had to give out. Mike, holy crap, I'm sorry it's taken me this long to finally try this, but wow. <laughs> uh, five horns, <laughs> five horns as well. Yeah, um, dude, what can I say? It's just, it's a really awesome sauce. It's great. It, it's like you said, you could probably just want to just put it on a lot of things. Uh, pizza? Get, yeah. Some barbecue pizza, man. Yeah, put it, put it on some pizza, too. Um, yeah. And I just want people to know, like, we're not seriously just, like, overhyping. This is straight amazing. Yeah. Seriously. Everyone needs to try this. Um, but there you have it. That's a pretty clear <laughs> a win overall. So, everybody, go check this out. He's... He, he does awesome. He's He's been winning a lot of awards lately, too. Yeah. Um, last year, he's got a lot. So, you know he's doing it right. Go check it out. And if you want to keep seeing these spicy videos, you know, subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notified. Um, like and leave a comment. Let us know if you've tried this amazing barbecue. And as always, keep it hot and heavy.